kind of managing tech teams for, for a while now. So kind of wanted to touch on like, given the current circumstances, everyone's kind of finding themselves in working remotely, hence the, the video call. Um, could you kind of give some of your like top tips and best advice on how to manage tech teams remotely? Yeah, um, making sure there's buy-in and having a really respectful conversation yeah. with everybody on the team and um, see what like give and take is working from home. Um, you need to be able to separate your work from life. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> I know for me, like, I just end up doing work constantly. Yeah. It can be you know, such a challenge. Number one tip is make sure that you shower every day and get dressed as if you're going to work, which yeah. sounds silly, but it's like, no, that's how your body kind of establishes a routine. Yeah. And, I, and I think like generally a big benefit, maybe the biggest benefit of remote working is, is really flexible um, accommodation of people's lives. Mm -hmm. um, and like, obviously like we're all getting used to what that means right now because the new normal is weird. So have you kind of faced any challenges then with uh, managing remote teams and, and things like that? Yeah, I think the, the biggest challenge is, is probably um, like, like with 100% remote uh, teams, it's you can't always see things when they shift, meaning like you can't see body language. Um, mm -hmm because you're not always on a, a Zoom call, you know? Um, and you can't always hear tone of voice because if, if people are mainly communicating via text and like Slack or some other chat um, app, then it's, you're missing a lot of information. I think the, the, that's like 70% of information is, is non-verbal, right? Um, uh, so you just have to really pay close attention to when any sort of behavior shifts um, and then you can dig into things. So like, you know, if you notice that someone who normally is really active in Slack suddenly is quiet, yeah. um, you know, usually I'll, I'll try that, I'll try to notice that and check in. Um, and just, one of the things that, that I did with my teams at Pusher is, um, so we use Slack to communicate uh, most of the time yeah. And um, basically you can set a status for yourself, which is just like an emoji or whatever. Yeah. So um, I try to encourage people to, you know, if they're having lunch, then put some sort of food there so people know. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. And then like there's a Google Calendar integration with Slack. So um, I asked everyone to install that because if they're in a meeting, it automatically changes your icon to a phone. When you're remote, it's all about communicating because it's so yes. hard to know what people are doing it, it, unless you communicate with them. A hundred percent, yeah.